Okay, we're off. Playing as white in a 15 minute, 10 second game. Let's push centre. Let's get rid of these pawns here. It's fine. And develop the knight here, supporting the pawn. And shall we just get the bishop out? Looks like a bit of an early castle. Maybe shall I just hold off a few more moves? Maybe. Ooh, okay. Can't go do it just yet. Okay. Nice and steady. Let's get castled. Um, not just yet. Let's bring the bishop through. Try to give my king some company. So this is the stage where pieces go missing and then you go, well, how did that happen? So it's like the move order of things. So I've got to be careful, even when I'm careful, probably still going to happen anyway. It's trying to stop us from jumping here for some reason. We haven't got this supported. And we could just take the knight off the board, just to simplify. So I don't want any mysteries, just keep it straightforward. And just attack there, bishop. The bishops don't take knights really, they treasure the bishop, so that's not happening. But the bishop is looking to move somewhere, but it genuinely can't, so it might come back here just so the queen sits here. So, in, well, it's not saying that it's worked or anything, but for this brief moment, I've tried to get rid of the complications. Knights hunt the bishops in our mantra, but got to bear in mind which is the good bishop and which is the bad bishop. So in essence, we have a good knight and we're looking to take their bad bishop off the board. So should we really take this bishop off? Because we say it's bad because these pawns here are on black squares. So the black bishop really doesn't have any power base in this part of the game because it's not really going anywhere. The strongest bishop they've got is this white square bishop. So should we really take it off the board? In our mantra, knights hunt the bishops. And in the end of it all, we should just follow the mantra. We rule the day that we don't follow the mantra. So I'm going to follow the mantra. I'm not going to bat an eyelid about it. Okay. Right, so we're in this situation. Knights hunt the bishops in our mantra, so we're going to go and attack the bishop. Because he's got a good bishop, I don't think he's going to allow this one to be taken. So this one will move. He'll want it getting activated. Probably go back, back to try and put like a two-on-one on this pawn, as you can see, because he's got the knight there as well. So we've done nothing special to get to this point. We just wanted to get rid of any potential malfunctioning move orders and went right back to the gusto of the mantra where the knights hunt the bishops, keeping it simple. Having that choice in your head or having that option, it helps you to select, even if it is a bad bishop or whatever it is, um, I have played games where, yeah, I've, I've left the bad bishop alone, not taken it, and that bad bishop has then turned into a good bishop later on down the line. So it, it stands me in good stead. You have to read the position, though. Not everything is set in stone. This is why we went through the little story there about, well, normally that bishop is bad, blah, 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 but historically it's come back to bite us. So we've convinced ourselves that that is the best move to make. Evaluation bar, probably laughing our faces, but that's my own evaluation tool, the mantra that we've been working on. 
So they're not going to allow this bishop to move. Have, is that, have they left the game or something? Not that they should have because they're not pieces down or anything. They might be talking about their own mantra. Oh, tired. Oh, steady on. It's actually taken the... But we get the knight for free, dude. Or do we? And we fall into a trap. I don't know. That was a bit odd. All that time to do that move. And they've resigned. 